What's up guys, it's Kaze here. So, I wanted to make a quick video about The Rock just turning heel. WWE just held a WrestleMania 40 press conference and they were gonna reveal the main event of WrestleMania. The Rock was there, Roman Reigns was there, Triple H was there, Seth Rollins was there, Cody Rhodes was there. And Cody Rhodes cut this promo on The Rock and Roman Reigns and he lit them on fire, I'm not gonna lie. This promo was outstanding. So Cody Rhodes gets to write the next chapter in his story and he chooses Roman Reigns to face in the main event at WrestleMania. So as I mentioned, Cody had a few words for The Rock and Roman Reigns and he mentioned a few legendary members in Roman Reigns' bloodline, such as the High Chief, and The Rock wasn't too pleased with this. He steps up to Cody Rhodes and he straight up says, if you're talking about Roman's family, you're talking about my family. If you're talking about Roman's bloodline, you're talking about my bloodline. And that is a key phrase right there. So The Rock then proceeds to tell Cody Rhodes that they have a problem. And then he slaps Cody Rhodes right in the face. In my opinion, this just effectively turned The Rock heel. Now this is insane because The Rock is notorious for not wanting to be viewed as the bad guy. That's why he and Vin Diesel got into it. That's why in all his movies he's the good guy kind of in Black Adam but even then not really. So this is the first time The Rock has actually put story over his public image in I don't know how long. So I mentioned in my last video when The Rock came back initially it caused so much confusion over who was going to face Roman Reigns at Wrestlemania and I said this was a good thing just because we shouldn't really know immediately what the main event of Wrestlemania was going to be and I'm sticking to that point just because this entire time they worked me over it seemed like they got everybody else as well there are so many we want Cody comments all over the place there were some in my videos and I'm on his side thanks for commenting by the way I really appreciate that and all that really did was make the hype for Cody Rhodes grow even stronger. People wanted to see him win even more. And now he's an even bigger star. So The Rock really seems to be leaning into the I'm an evil tyrant joining the company character. And it's the smartest idea that they could have possibly went with. By this point, a lot of people are probably tired of The Rock coming back finally and to be honest even that was still gonna sell tons of money this is exactly what all the fans were saying that he was doing like just in real life he was joining the company he was putting himself into the main event so for him to actually portray that on tv now builds even more intrigue and this is a perfect way to play this story going forward so now we know it's gonna be cody versus roman in the main event of wrestlemania but now we don't know how does The Rock play into all of this? And how big a role will he play in all of this? Man, right now WWE is playing chess with us and we are playing checkers, yo. We gotta keep up. It's embarrassing. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. I just wanted to quickly cover that. That's blowing my mind right now just because I never in a million years thought The Rock would ever portray himself in a bad or negative light, even if it was gonna sell tickets. I got a pretty decent video coming out this weekend, so be on the lookout for that. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. We're almost at 100, guys. We're almost there. We're right there. Please, come on. What are you doing? But yeah, put your seatbelt on. And until next time, keep it Kaze.